Good afternoon, everybody. This is Heather slash Hetty from Twitter land and Facebook land. And I also have a Ning account for epilepsy as well. I have been missing an action for a month. Um, so I think I'm finally updating you completely. Um, when I went to Birmingham, Alabama, I have actual history there, so it was pretty humorous. I half wonder if that's why my neurologist sent me there. Um, I'm not sure if all of you with epilepsy, and that being the Twitter site I'm basing this off on, I'm going to send it to both. Um, my epilepsy cure site on Twitter and alive in me, but this one's for epilepsy, obviously. Um, my there's only a few states that have the MEG test, and it's a real in-depth test, and it's a pretty amazing test. But I got humor out of where my neurologist decided to send me, because he knows. I mean, neurologists should know your complete like lifespan they they really should because that way they know what stress markers you have what's going on in your life what has gone on in your life that could relate to any seizure patterns and so i've always been really open with my neurologist about you know everything that's ever gone on so that we can pinpoint you know anything and everything that you know has gone on and and is going on and the ups and the downs of all the seizures. And I just got complete humor. It, it was funny either which way. I, I had three choices of, of where to go. And really, he really made the choice because I guess one of the best places to go was, you know, um, University of Alabama. Univer I guess it's University of Alabama, Birmingham, UAB. And they're just well renowned for their MEG test. And they and actually the people there are just phenomenal. They really are. They have such hearts. And that's just the South for you. They usually just have usually have such hearts. I guess my ex is from there, so I'll have to throw the usually in there. Um but that's the humorous part is that my history is that my ex was, I mean, my, my history is in Tuscaloosa, which is like, you know, 45 miles away. And I used to go to Birmingham like all the time when I was pregnant with my daughter and following just for sanity. Um, Lord, you know, don't even take this and write this down. But even when I was having seizures, because... I mean, I wasn't totally with the world, to be completely honest with you, and I had no family there, and that family that I was with, they didn't like me, and I just, Tuscaloosa didn't do it for me, so I needed city, and the closest city was Birmingham. I used to go there all the time, just for some sanity, and I mean, so it just, it was a crack up to be there. So the humor part was, to just lay it straight was when you get some place that you've been that you've had such stressors it's amazing the what the stressors that you don't realize are stressing you can actually help provoke a seizure because those seizures came i mean instantly when i was i was i was there in the office and they were putting on the wires, I just, I, I just got humored by it because, um, usually, you know, it takes, you know, 30 minutes or so, you know, getting into the whole groove of it. But like the moment they got the wires on and they turned on the machine, I just faded into one of my complex partials. It just, <laughs> that never happens for my wonderful doctor here at Mayo. You know, it just, I, I just got humor. So I, I applaud him for sending me to a stress-provoking 
city <laughs> because my husband and I were there and we did go down the route of, you know, my history. We went to, you know, restaurants that I used to go to and I used I was just cracking jokes about it because it's funny today. I mean, it wouldn't have been a few years back, but it's funny today. And to be honest with you, I mean, my, my ex is down there somewhere and his new wife and my in-laws. I mean, I could have gone knocking on their door. But um, so it, it was it was just humorous. So you you have to see the humor in all of all of it. But out of the three states, there was humor in all of it. I mean, the first one was, you know, Scripps Clinic and I had a horrifying doctor. So, I mean, there still would have been stress there. I can't even elaborate on the headbutting we did. And then the second state was Texas, and that's where my ex beat me. And so I'm just like, it really, it, you know, it, it wouldn't have mattered where he sent me. He had a stress pointer everywhere, but I think the tip of it probably was Birmingham. It had some fun and beauty. And it was neat because, you know, we I had to stay up most of the night prior. And so my husband and I, as long as he could stay up, uh, we sat and just watched House MD. <laughs> we went out and got the DVDs and I just watched the new season on DVD and just watched it all throughout until I finally was able to go to bed for the couple hours I was allowed to. But it was amazing. It was an amazing test. I had that, you know, great seizure for them instantly. So the test was less than an hour. And then they shoved my head in that amazing machine. And fortunately, I'm not one who's, like, scared of enclosed places like my mom. And um, I, I fell asleep just fine. And they ran great tests. They got amazing, you know, pinpointers. And, you know, they're sending up Mayo's way my hospital that is here so they can proceed with pinpointing and uh, their brain surgery so um, I've just been I'm sorry down for a month because I got that wonderful H1N1 um, and that probably was implanted from my ex-husband I, I don't I don't know but that's that's just what I get from Alabama so um, this is day two of feeling good or okay um, and functional so and I was injected yesterday for my migraines so um, I'm I'm doing better and I'm smiling and I'm blessed to be able to talk to all of you again I was really Twitterless for a long time and I apologize and so anyway any of you looking into you know the MEG test you know you can knock on my door and, of course, anyone looking into brain surgery can knock on my door. And um, and there are also many other, you know, devices and stuff that are coming out that, you know, I have some pretty good at, um, info on. But other than that, I just want to send you blessings and let you know that um, there are answers to everything. And there's a very... Happy birthday coming my way next Tuesday, 33, and then a very Merry Christmas coming to everybody. And so I just wanted to say that now in case I don't say it in between somewhere because I know it's going to get kind of busy for everyone. So many blessings. I'm glad to be back and alive. So, and um, anyway, I'll talk to you all later. And thank you for just, you know, keeping communication with me even though I've been, you know, down in the dumps lately, a little bit sick. So, blessings and have a great day.